Oh man, I know you're thinking about it. Those cookies are looking mighty tasty. Oh, there's cake too. Just one slice. What's the harm? You reach your hand out. You know you shouldn't, but you've been working so, so hard. You deserve to treat yourself. You take your first bite. The euphoric sensations flood your body as you bite into this chewy, moist, delicious dessert. You finish eating and then it hits you. You just ruined your diet and now you have another 500 calories to burn off. You just succumbed to instant gratification. I've spoken very briefly about this concept of instant gratification versus delayed gratification, but I wanted to take some time to go over it thoroughly and explain which side you need to be on if you wanna make any progress in your life. My name is King Kai, I talk about self-improvement and fitness all while I nerd out on anime as you can see you and I are obviously the same since you found my channel so go ahead and subscribe to the channel and see what I have to offer. Oh boy, yo, I used to love me some Naruto Storm 3 bro. I would wake up and immediately hit the on my PS3 and me and Nika would easily, easily hit 16 hour days on Naruto Storm 3, easy. My kid Gar was unbeatable bro. And years later I would heavily indulge in one of my favorite fighting games next to Tekken and that'd be Dragon Ball Fighters. I put in easily over 300 hours into that game all while I was stomping people's face in with my boy Broly. If I wasn't playing games, then I was probably watching anime. If I wasn't watching anime, then I was probably eating junk food while playing games. But do you see a common theme here? These are all awful habits. Not a single one of these things helped me grow into becoming a better person. These are all strong examples of instant gratification. Instant gratification is the pursuit of immediate pleasures in favor of long-term growth. So these can include things like watching sports, watching anime, playing video games, drugs, casual encounters, that kind of stuff. The scary thing about these is that they all feel amazing right now, but the hidden cost is that they provide a less favorable situation for yourself farther into the future. And what's even scarier is that you don't see yourself deteriorating until it's much, much, much too late. Instant gratification is a common indulgence amongst the mass of people, which is why a lot of people are a bunch of soft little snowflakes. And I truly believe that this overconsumption can be linked as to why a lot of people are depressed nowadays. They're conditioning themselves to be hyper-stimulated by these substances, and then when they go into the real world, which is naturally less stimulating, it doesn't compare, making it hard for them to enjoy the present moment. And along with instant gratification comes with another detrimental side effect, is that it makes you feel like you're actually accomplishing something. When I thoroughly played Dragon Ball Fighters, I played it a lot. I peaked at around Ultra Instinct Sign, so anyone who plays, you know how high that rank is. For those who don't, that puts me in around top 6% of online players, means that most of you will probably get stomped, just saying. At the time of me playing a lot more, this rank actually made me feel confident, but the second that the game turned off, I'm reminded that I ain't sh a lot of people can relate to this unfortunate reality. They hit Diamond on League of Legends, they get 10 more hookup notches on their belt, they eat some kind of junk food, and then the dark reality sets in. On the other side of this coin is delayed gratification. Delayed gratification is going to be the pursuit of things that are painful and uncomfortable right now in favor of a much better situation later on in the future. See, the thing about this is that they don't provide any rewards right now, not even a lick of them but it, that's what that's what makes it so hard to pursue but as you improve the rewards get a lot better and in most cases they become very very life-changing so these kind of activities include weightlifting reading studying instruments <laughs> things like that things that you can build up over time but you don't really see the progression right now when i got back into weightlifting i was around 18 to 19 years old and I stopped weightlifting because I got out of high school and I was working a job and whatnot, and I was getting lazy. I'm just gonna say I was being lazy. So when I got back in, I didn't really see any progress because I lost all my high school progress, and I was getting kind of chubby, and I wasn't seeing anything changing. But one day, I looked at myself in the mirror, and I'm like, hold up, I'm kind of jacked. Like, where'd this come from? And this is a result of me doing the same positive habit over and over and over again and then eventually you see the big changes. There was actually a study conducted, but it's called the Marshmallow Experiment. There are gonna be two kid subjects in some kind of room, right? And the tester, like the experimenter scientist guy, he would tell each of these kids, hey, here's a marshmallow. And if you don't eat this marshmallow for 15 minutes, then I will come back and give you a second one. And so he would leave and then one kid would stare at it, shake, and he'd be unable to control himself and he'd swallow the marshmallow, right? And the other kid 
would, you know, put his hands on his head, walk around, not really think about it, do something else, and then he'll come back and get a second one. Now, this is a delayed gratification versus instant gratification experiment, and it's shown that when they follow these same kids for years down the line, the ones who indulged in the marshmallow immediately were less likely to do something substantial later in life, and the ones that delayed it were much more likely to succeed in life. So this tells you that delayed gratification is scientifically proven to give you a much higher chance of succeeding later on. So this is why I'm here today telling you why you need to do that instead. See, I understand that jumping on a productive routine immediately is very hard and it's likely not going to happen. And you also may not want to get rid of all the things that you find fun immediately either, so it's okay. I'm gonna give you something that you can slowly ease into so you can get in the habit of doing the delayed gratification. This is a technique called temptation bundling temptation bundling is when we pair something that we have to do with something that we want to do so that means pairing the dg with the ig now the fun thing that you want to do make sure that it's not detrimental to your long-term success so that means you can't be taking some kind of drug while you're weightlifting like come on bro but for example let's say if you want to hit some cardio but Kami knows you don't feel like doing it so how about instead of just sitting there looking at the wall like wondering when it's gonna be over Throw in some Demon Slayer and watch Tanjo chop up Daki while you're on the exercise bike. If you're lifting some weights, then blast the rumbling in your headphones. Like, hey, that gets me hyped as hell. I don't know about you, but I'm super hyped when I'm deadlifting and I have the rumbling in my headphones. If I lose it all. And if you do decide to lift weights, which is what I hope you do, I made eight free workout routines. You can find them in the description. But get creative with it. The point of this is to make it easier to transition into the good habits so you're much less likely to fail. This makes that habit a lot more attractive and a lot more fun to take part into. Then over time, we start to see a lot of awesome progress. You're not even going to want to indulge in instant gratification anymore because you know the positive benefits of delaying that gratification. So start changing your daily habits into delayed gratification and I can guarantee you that in six months you will be unrecognizable. This is your Sensei Kinkai. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.